Good morning. Or should I say good afternoon? <laughs> hey guys, it's 12.15. It's Wednesday. We just got back from the library. We've had a pretty hectic morning. It's been raining. My idea today just kind of went... I was going to take the kids to do the... Um, the health class at the library and then we usually go to the park afterwards but it's like crazy raining and so i wasn't going to film today but you know what i said what happens when things don't go our way all right things never gonna go our way but we can always pivot and change so i had the have you guys ever seen like the resurrection eggs Okay, so I have a set of those. This woman at my church, she um, she put those aside for us. And so I just feel so blessed and so, like, you know, I don't usually do anything for the holidays. But these resurrection eggs were kind of right up my alley. So we're kind of, I don't know if we're going to do school today, like formal school. Next week is our Sabbath. So I ain't tripping right and so today they've already done the health class at the library so i'm going to consider that social emotional and then we're going to do bible which are the resurrection eggs and then we'll see where today gets us we might be able to do a little bit of phonics but i'm not going to you know beat myself up about it and then also <laughs> john donovan Jessica and Benjamin, they are signed up for baseball. So Jesse, I have to do Jesse's hair. So that's why I'm thinking we might not even actually get a lot of school done because we got to, I'm like totally in my, <laughs> in my sports mom era. So with that being said, come along for a little snippet of our day. I'll probably cut this off. Well, I always cut it off around dinner time. So probably cut it off around dinner time. And yeah, welcome. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, I have everyone set up to eat. And I'm just going to clean up my bathroom a little bit. But I'm going to wash, we're going to wash and blow dry, blow dry. Sorry, I can't get it out. Jesse's hair. Do I have the, do I have the hat imprint on me? We're gonna get that out of the way so that all I need to do is braid it. It's gotta be flat so that her helmet can fit on. And so I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna braid it down. Like it's gonna be two rows. One's gonna be flat straight down and the other's gonna be like just coming off. And then I have hair. This does, uh, one is gonna be longer than the other, I guess. Finish with 18, yeah. So, I guess I'll mix the hair up. <laughs> I don't know. She doesn't really need hair, but what happens is it'll start curling up, even in the braids. So I gotta put something else in it to keep it straight. So yeah, come along on this journey. I'm gonna get the stuff out for me to wash her hair and then we'll, I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> so I'm gonna wash her hair with this Care Care Moisturizing Shampoo and then I'm going to go in with this Elements Jehovah <laughs> Moisturizing Treatment with Biotin and Silk. So we're gonna see how this goes. It goes with Relax the Natural Hair for Overprocessed Hair. Deep conditioning treatment helps strengthen, nourish, and repair dry, damaged hair by restoring moisture. Relax for, I don't know, Sally's had a, I'll just tell you guys the truth. Sally's had a sale, it was four for 20, or four for 25. I think it was four for 20, so I got this one. I got all the ones that made sense to actually do the deal, because some of the deep conditioners wouldn't have made sense. Um, I got this one. I got this one. Can you guys see? Can you guys see? I got 
this one and then and then I got this to see how it does on her hair I use this on my hair already that video should already be up but I use the small bristle comb small bristle comb the small spacing comb because um, my hair is more of a 4a 4b maybe three maybe three four a and then hers is four c and thick and luscious and curly and so beautiful like so, this. so we're gonna use this one on her hair today and i'll let you know, guys know how that goes so yeah this is what we're gonna go with today and this one let you see y'all she's thick she's thick she's thick and it smells good too i'm smelling more of the let me see what they put in it to show you guys what i'm smelling go ahead and run the water jesse so there's Jehovah oil known to keep help condition and moisturize hair. Biotin known to help support the health of hair. Quinoa known to help strengthen the hair and provide color protection. Vitamin E known to help protect and promote healthy looking hair. Silk known to provide conditioning properties and add shine. And so we're just going to, so we're going to apply to clean damp hair, make sure ends are treated. Leave on three to five minutes, rinse thoroughly, can be used twice a week to help maintain health, healthy looking hair. So we're just gonna use it today. Um, so I'm gonna we're gonna wash her hair, then we're gonna deep condition it, and then we're gonna let her take a shower. By that time, it should be in there enough, and we'll rinse it out and we'll let you know how her hair feels. Typically, um, we don't have any problems with deep conditioners, but I'm looking for something that has a little bit more slip, especially when it comes to time when it's time for me to detangle. All you 4C mamas know. She's, and she's not tender headed in the back. She's tender headed in the front. And that's more where her hair, I would say, is more... It's still curly, but it's not as tightly curled. So, I don't know. Hey, Bubbas. So, I'll check back in with you in a little bit. Tomorrow, I'm going to take a nine Tell them how it felt getting your hair detangled with that new conditioner. Yep. Right. It kind of feels like nothing, but you can still feel the tangles, like the knots. So was it getting untangled better or worse? Better. Better. Okay. So we usually use the conditioner from this brand, and when her hair is in pom-poms like that, it just it Stays. doesn't do what we need it to do when it comes to detangling her hair so that was a good conditioner and so we'll probably stick with that until the other ones we'll try the other ones too but we'll stick with that one keep that in our mind that that's a good one for good slip so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna blow dry it with this i use castor oil for her heat protectant and so um, if I can't find the castor oil then I'll probably use argon oil but let me see if I can find the castor oil first and I'm going to use this water comb to help and then I'll probably do medium heat okay eh, eh, eh. what are you doing okay. all right so we need to find the castor oil. So yeah, I just use pure Jamaican castor oil and I try not to find anything with other additives. So this should be enough for her hair. And it really, her hair is already thick, <laughs> makes it thicker. So we'll try it out. This is what it sounds like. Okay. 
take this baby to task. Medium. Let me put some of this stuff in it first. I put it all over your hair. sister over here crying because the hair dryer I think reminds her of the uh, vacuum. vacuum cleaner <laughs> But I have to keep going because if not, then we have to put it in pom-poms and then those don't last long. And then she has to have a, a, a hairstyle where the helmet can fit on. So it is, um, I just don't be feeling like braiding it. And I know, yes, I could go pay someone, but also she's um, tender head in the front. And then I don't want her to get, what to, like traction alopecia. So like I have to braid the front of her hair pretty loosely because uh if if it's braided too tight you'll start i start seeing like the bumps and then the the root of her hair you, you'll start seeing it so i'm just very cautious of who does her hair how it's done i don't want to braid it too tight and so yeah um i'm gonna push through hopefully the twins will go down for a nap um very very soon and so i'll be able to push through even more my My four-year-old is asleep, or should be sleeping. And then, so the twins are having a snack right now. They're eating an applesauce. And I'm cleaning up the bathroom from our, <laughs> from me washing her hair and blow drying it. And so, yeah, I'm going to start with braids now. And it's two, oh, it's 150. So, it didn't take long. All right, guys, it is... 8.39. It's been a long day. We've been trying to <clears throat> do Jesse's hair. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I did Jesse's hair. I did three rows of braids. And then we just put three little beads on there. I was a little nervous that they might hit her in her face when she's trying to run. So hopefully I'll be able to maybe put it in a low bun for her helmet. So that's the back. And this is the front. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna put some mousse on it and we're gonna call it a night.
good morning. <laughs> Yesterday was a day. We, I really wasn't able to do much after I washed Jessie's hair except do her hair and just take care of the fam. So we didn't get to do our resurrection egg hunt. So we're going to do that today. And I figured I'd take you guys along because I'm pretty sure the video isn't even long enough. So, why not bring you guys along? And so, right now, I'm just getting ready. And then, I'll load the car up. The kids should be putting on their shoes. Finding their shoes. Or at least putting them by the door. Who knows? I can hear them, so... I'm just taking this little time to spruce up the mom face. And yeah, I'm super proud of myself for trying that hairstyle on my daughter because here in Charlotte, the prices to get your child's hair braided let alone just braid it and then also adding hair it's it's expensive so i was just sitting there yesterday like you're paying for time because i can do it but then it's like whoever's braiding her hair they have a family to take care of so you're basically paying for time so i figured i would do it myself but anyway yeah, so come along for the Easter egg hunt. I'm excited. This is my, I think this is our first year doing the resurrection eggs. And so I'm hoping that this can be a little tradition for us. I'll see you in a bit. Today I'm homeschooling. <laughs> Mirabelle! All right, let's practice. So Jesse's going to be come here, Samar. Jesse's going to be reading today um, at church for a Monday Thursday service, and this is the passage that she'll be reading. So we're going to practice. We'll do one pass through, and then we'll come back and figure out what we need to practice when we come home. All right, come on, baby. The whole thing. Yeah. Very truly, I tell that you, no servant is greater than his master, nor is there a messenger greater than the no. one who sent him. No. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. A new command I give you. As right here. Love. love one another as mm. I have loved you. No, so, no, no, so you must love one another by is it this? this everyone. Everyone knows will will know that you are my disciple if you love one another. Good job. Okay, so this word right here is not server. Look at it closer. Servant. It's servant. Yep. So when we come back, we'll just that was like the only thing I could think of that was like uh maybe she yeah. And so we'll go through it, and then I want you to slow it down when we go when we study back over it, okay? Yeah, so I'm gonna. You guys can go play while I put these out. Yeah. Don't don't do that. You can't look. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so these are the eggs. I'm pretty sure there's a newer version out, so I'll try to link them in the comments for <laughs> in this video. But I'm pretty sure this is coming out after Easter, so. At least you'll be exposed to it and have it in mind for next Easter. But I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> hide the eggs. They're probably going to be peeking 
and then we'll get started. I did stop to the store and get them some candy. So once they bring me back an egg, we'll exchange it for candy and then we'll go through the Easter story. So blue. Who want who, someone open this one? Who got blue? Donkey. Okay, donkey. A lowly donkey was given to Jesus to ride. for the resurrection so uh judas accepted 30 silver coins hold on for betraying that's all i have for you today if you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up think about subscribing to my channel if you ever heard of resurrection eggs um let me know in the comments i only heard of it during covid huh You gotta get up, boo-boo, keep moving. I only heard of it through COVID because we gave them, um, when our church wasn't meeting, we were giving them out as little packages on Saturdays to the families. And I always thought it was fun and interesting. And at that time, um, my oldest was four. So she doesn't even remember doing it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. And yeah, God loves you. Don't forget to drink your water and repent. Bye. <laughs>